Repent and Die podcast. For those that don't know who I am, I'm Junes, the original for the bond to by blood, not by converge. You know I'm out here to splurge, splurge with the what, with the word. Wanna give all praise and glory to the Father. Wanna give all salutes and shout outs to all the new subscribers. And all the real ones that's outside doing that dizzy, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy how we could just sit back and just really sit back and just reminisce and just be paying attention to just the little things. So for me today, you know, I'm sitting here, you know what I mean, trying to fix this camera and all that. Part of the reason why you guys haven't seen me in a couple of days, my camera's acting kind of crazy, found out because I took out the cam link. Crazy stuff. But anyway, so I'm sitting here, you know what I'm saying, and I'm I'm sitting here and I'm doing all that, and then I'm listening to the elder speak. So shout out to the elder, man. For those that don't know what you're missing, man, the elder really be talking that talk. It comes to showing proof that we are the children of Akobi. Like, we ain't never left the homeland, bro. It's a lie. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? All of that is being uncovered, for even down to the Father's name. You know what I'm saying? We don't speak that, we don't speak that European tongue, bro. You guys been in these organizations for years and still can't speak a fluent Jada Hebrew because that joint is not in you because it isn't is you you feel me like it's not you you gotta understand that but again tune into the elder really bring forth some heat facts I'm I'm still a I'm still a pup in this in this awakening but I love it though you know what I'm saying just 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 different information and wisdom that prepares you and show you the truth and the real reality and the real the 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 real threat of it all. You feel me? So I'm listening to the elder speak and the elder brings forth he's talking about Esau and Jacob. And he said and and I'm listening and I'm like, damn, how did I not see this then it hit me it's because we was always told Esau was the white man Esau was the the firstborn and 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 Jacob surplanted him like I Jacob did a sinister thing and lied to his father and, and his wife disobeyed like that shows a, a big sign of disobedience to the father and the whole household Everybody's out here sinning. And the father oh, is cool with all this. I mean, come on, people. Sometimes we got to just make that make sense. You feel me? Got to make it make sense. It does not make sense. Come on now. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. Oh, but before I even finish that, let me finish what I was saying. So I was I was always told that Esau was the white man. Nah, family, Esau is the Esau is the black man. Jacob's name is Akobi, which means firstborn. I could show you, I could show you the proof too. I could matter of fact, let me let me let me, let me pull this up. Hold on. Y'all thinking this is a game. Hold on. Look at this right here. The name. Let me bring my mic even closer because y'all got to hear this because y'all be thinking this is a game, right? The name Akobi does not correspond to any specific language or culture that I'm aware of. However, in the Yoruba language, which is primarily spoken in Nigeria and some parts of the neighborhood countries, the word Akobi means firstborn or eldest child 
Yoruba is one of the largest ethnic groups in Nigeria and has a rich culture and linguistic heritage. If Akobi has a different meaning or origin in a, another language or culture, I may not have that information within my training data. Okay, this is from Chat GPT right here. Okay, this is from you. You see what that says? Or oh, eldest child. You've been bamboozled, people. Facts. Facts. Let me take this off my screen. <laughs> Facts. Right? So, back to what I was saying. So, I'm listening to this story. You know, I know that Esau was a black man. Facts. I can prove that, whatever. He's a black man. But then when, I, when I'm sitting back and I'm listening to the elders speak and he's on the point where Esau is so angry that his brother received all the blessings and the evil spirit of, uh, of, of King Lucifer the same spirit that got in Nimrod and the same spirit that got in and and that was in Cain and the same, you know what I'm saying? These spirits was around individuals who was completely just evil at heart. I remember Esau's the one that killed Nimrod. He probably got the whole shebang with him. So when I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about that and I'm saying to myself, yo, could it possibly be that some of the people that was led into captivity, some of these black people could be the children of Esau. Now you're like, what would you mean by that? I said, you know, every child takes on a, a mannerism of their parents. It's, it's like it's a pass down. You know what I'm saying? If you got individuals that's hustling and making money and doing this, that's a that's 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 a mentality, that's a lifestyle, that's a that's a spirit, that's a a a, a person, like the original person characteristics passed down to his children. <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact. Hold on, my water. This is a fact. And when the elders talking about how Esau said, well, my father, after my father dies, I'm going to kill my brother. Like, he, it, was, it was on his to-do list. And I sit back and I'm, and I'm taking that aspect, that, that scene, and a, Apply it to what's going on here in America and all across the world that's that's into this hatred for their brother type of type of time. Could it possibly be that the majority or some of the black people? that probably came off them ships or flew over here could possibly be the children of Esau. Pay attention to the characteristics. Pay attention to the ones that disengage, that when they hear the Father's word, it, 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 it's caused a level of irritation. Got no time for that going elsewhere. Pay attention to the individuals that smile in your face, man, and, and, and really have a high level of hatred. Like that, that, that child, those children still exist. They look like you. They look like me. 
anybody that you see that has no remorse after hurting or killing or destroying somebody's lives and and way of life and will have and and will do it again if it if the opportunity presents itself like that right there that's troubling fam and a lot of our brothers even our sisters it's on that mentality or that seed could be the children could be the remnants of Esau Esau is not going to be large amongst us it's going to be slim and thin but there will be terrors because they got their father's oath and even in the world they made an oath I don't remember which book I think I think I think I think it's in the I think it's in the word or I think it's in the book of um in the book of Jasher, if I'm not mistaken, word, where they made an oath. They took a family oath, bro. I think it happened, it happened after Jacob supposedly killed Esau. It was a family oath. I'm, I'm, listen, if I'm not mistaken, so these children be born with that being taught that and they're amongst us they are amongst us some of those are the so much some of those are all are, are the in-betweens for the in-betweens you know what I'm talking about they are amongst us so could it possibly be this is a fact. Could it possibly be that some of the black people that's here, that came here, whether it's through ships or plane, could be the children of Esau? I'm going, we can, we going based on the spirit, based on that characteristic, based on that individual, based on the things that fuel them. We are the sand of the sea. There's a bunch of us getting taking one down is a reward for them. We got to kill this narrative that these individuals have placed in your mind and told you that Esau is a white man. Esau say moon blanc. That means white and Creole. We got to kill that. Why? Because it's taking us away from reality. The black man's biggest threat is the black man. The black man's biggest fear is the black man. The black man's biggest frustration, disgust, anger is the black man. Because we're not so we're not focusing on cleaning house. We want everything to just come out. We want everything given back onto us because of the things that we nah. Nah. Nobody ain't giving nobody no bread. If you can't even keep your community, if you can't even keep your people alive for 48 hours. Are you kidding me? These these precincts is not filled with with brothers and sisters, police not being called to come to houses, everything is in order. You 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 have to take care of that. See, think, see, stuff like that, that's an asset. We have taken the pawn, the life of a liability. And listen, I keep telling you guys this. This place called America is a corporation family. This joint is not the land of the free. This is the land of the possibility. You find your way. You find your itch. You work through that. You walk through that door. You kick in the door, raise in the four four. You understand me? We got to start paying attention. Understand. And I don't want to divert to what this, this, this broadcast is about. But at the same time, we got to understand. We got to understand that. 
yo, on some real talk? We ain't really trying to be nothing more than peasants, fam. Right? When you look at the demographics of society right now, right? You got the AI technology, you got you you got the visuals, you got you got the podcast, you got a lot of things where individuals now is generating bread, and then you still got the individuals that wanna be knuckleheads. And those individuals are the ones that you might have to consider them being the children of Esau. See, Esau got it in his heart to hurt, to destroy, to manipulate. When you see our peoples, and I'm not saying all, I'm not saying all, but majority of our people is on that mentality. Now you take it from that day when that oath was made to now, billions of them is born. Millions of them is born. Hundred millions compared to our billions, hundred millions of them born, scattered all over. Some is in the Holy Land right now, working with the individuals causing pure chaos. Some of them is working with the individuals right now. Here in the States, doing what they doing straight violate. This is facts. This ain't, this, yo. You got to start questioning everything. There's nothing new under the sun, fam. There ain't nothing new. This is real as it gets. We keep forgetting that just because it's, it's called history, that, that, that book, this book, hold on, let me show you. This book right here. This book right here, this joint is a living book, fam. As long as these prophecies ain't fulfilled, <laughs> everything in this book is still going to be going on. Every oath, every covenant, every, every sin, every mistake, every conquer, every victory, every loss, every lesson, every, every redemption, Every every testimonial every testimonial conversations. These things were gonna continue to happen until it's fulfilled. And we forgetting that. We so far off into, into the world. Into, and I won't even say the world because we living in it. This is who world is this, the world is yours. But in everything in life, there's a balance. Total nice, Jones. Everything in life is a balance, bro. That's why we born with two legs, two arms, two nostrils, two earlobes, two eyeballs, two up on bottom lip, two up on bottom stack of teeth. Your tongue go up and down. Come on. Come on. Gotta have a level of a balance. The balance is what's needed in life. Too much of anything is not good for you. Too little bit of something is gonna bring stress to you. But they gotta always be a balance. When you go over your boundaries, that's when things go left. Facts. But we, but because we don't move in a sense of the balance, this is why we live in a rocky life. This is why we are a rocky nation. This is why we ain't standing. This is why there's no reparation. This is why there's no connection. Connection. This is why there's no commitment. This is why there's no loyalty. This is why there's no trust. It's a whole lot of things going on. P 
people is not paying attention to. But I'm going to be the one to give that to you because at the end of the day, you need to know the truth, fam. And a lot of our problems is coming from individuals. It's coming from individuals who may be black, but are from that blood of Esau. Read your word, man. Don't get caught up in the foolish lies, man. Esau and Jacob are twins, bro. Excuse me. Esau and Akobi are twins. Akobi and Esau are twins. Akobi, firstborn. Don't listen to the lies. Firstborn. This is your book, fam. This is your livelihood. This is your greatness. This is your chance to receive and understand true royalty. Stand on that. Become that. Move in a sense of righteousness and authority, bro. Put that balance together. Eat right. Sleep more. And if you sleep a lot, sleep less. Put the balance back. This is a fact. These are the things that these are the these are the things that we as people need to really start focusing on. We can't listen to these lies no more. The truth is gonna be told. The word tells you only unto Jacob, have only unto Akobi have I known. I have not known with any other nation. The other nation is your brother, is your brothers, cousins. This book is not talking about the other the, the other nations. This is why this book is irrelevant. It's irrelevant for them. It's not for them. It's for you. Don't listen to the nonsense. So this thing makes you this and makes you do that. No, it makes you have an understanding. Teach you to put the balance together and move in a certain way. To live a certain way. Love a certain way. Put that hatred, put that hatred to the individuals who deserve that. You can't take your frustration out on people who suffer in the same suffering as you. Especially for the man, it comes a time when you got to be the big man. We all going to go through it. We all going to go through our trials and tribulations. We going to all go through our ups, our downs, our left, our rights. We all going to go through it. But you still got to take the positive direction when it comes to handling certain things. I can't take my frustration out on another brother because of whatever he's doing, whatever I'm doing, whatever he's not doing, whatever I'm not doing. But at the same time, you still can't take your frustration out on your brother because we all going through the same struggle. Ain't nothing change. Nothing is going to change until we change. Nothing is going to rise until we rise. No reparations until we get our, we take care of all situations. Kings moving like kings, queens moving like queens, daughters moving like daughters, fam. And people thinking that it's far fetch, it's not far fetch. You got to prioritize. You got to get that balance back. We're going to always be in the streets. You're going to always be around the evil. You're going to always be around the heathens. You're going to always be around the Europeans. You, you're going to be around them. There's nothing you can do, but make sure you have that balance. That balance is coming with this, understanding who you are. Understanding how to identify individuals, forget who, forget, forget the personality and the image. You're gonna be able to identify that spirit. Like, yo, hold on, who, what? Yo, man, you remind me of Esau, fam. Yo, you just like Ishmael. Why y'all always looking for my head? What I do to y'all? But you letting individuals confuse y'all and thinking that. Those individuals or the individuals from a whole different demographics of life. 
And if you listen to my previous and old podcast, I'll t- tell you who these individuals are. They know who they are. They're not here to play with you. You playing with yourself. We playing with ourselves. Until we, because let me not make it say like this, yeah, let me say, if we, because this is, I'm together. We, we, we in this course together. We in this walk together. There's no turning back. It's either you're going to live and die in poverty, bro. Or you're going to turn poverty into prosperity. You turn that by fixing you, putting back that balance, being a, being able to identify individuals, being able to correct, prevent in situations, talk with a sense of royalty, of a priest, of a cook, of a queen, of a princess, the list goes on, of a carpenter. Come on, talk to them nice, Jones. Talk to them nice. The true understanding of the word is going to come from the individuals who this word was given to. Now, for me, as being a Bantu, I don't know what I'm tribe I'm in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not living my life based on the tribe because I know that chart that was created by these organizations, these charts that was created isn't accurate. A lot of individuals that's on that list isn't from that list. You feel me? It's not. I don't even want to get into that. But Esau could possibly be some of the black folks that's in our communities. Check, check your characteristics. If you ang- if you got a whole bunch of anger, if you wishing harm and you want to hurt somebody and you want to get in a car and spin the block, you need to check yourself. Maybe you are that seed, that child. And you're going to continue causing chaos until you're taken out. And then you might have a child and he's going to pick up where you left off. Isn't that how it usually go? Isn't that how it usually go? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And as for the brothers... Like myself, who doesn't wish harm? I don't even want to see people in hospitals. Cause that's not how that's not that's not how the father envisioned us to live. Royalty. Not just anybody can touch you. Not just anybody can give birth to your seed. And these are the things that we need to put back into proper perspective so we can get that balance back. Because until that balance, we're going to forever live a rocky life. You're always going to be struggling. You're always going to be angry. You're always going to be snapping. You're always going to be shooting. You're going to always be in jail. You you all, You all just might end up in hell. Because you ain't putting back that balance. You got to put back that balance, fam. And you don't even got to start with this. No, you should start with this. Because <laughs> in the beginning was the word. You should start with that. Nope. Got to start with that. But minimize the phone activity. Substitute that. We're working out, reading books, gardening, going outside, have conversation. It's a beautiful thing to go outside, see a whole bunch of black people just having conversation, talking, whatever they talking, but it's love. And it stays that from morning to night. We used to do that. We should be doing that. We can do that. We will do that.
but these are the things, these are the things that having balance creates. Minimize these things, man. We have to minimize these things. We need to ex we need to take full advantage of the correction the Father give to us to correct, correct it. You correct it by being a better you. You correct it by doing different things. You correct it by really embracing and showing love to individuals who is deserving of that. Let me not say deserving. Showing love to every single person, whether they deserve it or not, but you just operating in a sense of love. Now, you're going to have the Esau's. And you're going to have the Jacob's. You got the Jacobs who've been affected by the Esau's is now taking his frustration out on everybody. It's it's all jacked up. But yet at the same time, this is gonna be the thing to, for you to be able to identify because that's what you need. You need to know that you wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is this is bigger than what you think it is. When you see your favorite rapper saying they on demon time, they telling you what time it is. When you see it, when you see it, when you see it, law enforcement looking like military and you out there with a stick in a hat, you need to understand what time this is. While you listening to these, these, these rappers who live in high places far away from their locations, security from top to bottom, fully armored, and you listening to these musics that's being brought forth and you reenacting that, thinking that it's cool, get on these social media platforms and talk crazy, expose yourself. Rico laws is being put together. Conspiracy charges is being put together. A whole old block dudes was making money. Could have done so much for the hood. They let music separate and cause everybody to be sitting in a can for the rest of their life. And another man gone. And you out here playing with it. <laughs> Yo. Ah, man, listen, I don't want to hold up you guys' time, man. I'm about to go get my workout in, man. It was just it was just something that I need to bring out. Shout out to the elder again. And for the brothers that be tuning in, man, and, and, and you know, like I tell everybody, man, share these videos, man. Share, send these things to the block. Send these joints to the church. Send these things to the work. Send these things to send it everywhere. We putting back that balance. That balance is going to come through us. Ain't going to be no outside help, fam. Ain't going to be no outside money. The outside money come with outside speculations, expectations, indirect. Luciferian, a.k.a. Satan. Come on, man. Make it make sense. You righteous people, man. You chosen God. God's blood run through you, fam. Royalty run through you, fam. You over here paying attention to yo, what sign you are. I'm a Gemini. No, you are a bond to. You are royal seed. Your home is in sub-Saharan Africa, maybe West Africa. Guess what? The whole of Africa is you. Whose world is this? The world is yours. They got they disrespecting you by telling you that you come from a, a, a little area called 1948. And meanwhile, they got a whole turf for them, man. Switching up things. You got to pay attention to the narrative. And I don't, like I said, I don't want to go go long, but at the same time, it's like, yo, y'all gotta pay attention and understand what's going on in this world, fam. This joint, this, this, this joint ain't no joke out here. That's who you are. 
time for you to go home. Make your money. Take your take your education, your understanding, your selling, your merchandising, your pricing, your slicing. And go back and go back into your land and own something, generate something, build something. Put 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 order back into your land. That's the objective. That's the goal. That's the end goal. To put things back into our land. We need to go home. This is prison. This is not our home. Never been your home. Don't get caught up with the entertainment. These are sellouts. And I don't even want to go there. But that's not for you. That's not That's not where your joy comes. Your joy is becoming something better than you was yesterday. Taking your skills and, 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 and helping, loving, caring. This comes with this. Once you understand this and understand who you are and stop all the bickering and biting and falling for these false religions. This is not a religious book, man. Don't get caught up with the names. I just told you, you I just showed you how they switch names. These are the intentionals, but the story is true. The locations is real. But where they got you looking at is where the joke is. The locations is real. Mount Sinai is not Mount Sinai and Mount Sunini. Mount Sunin. That's his turf. He not coming outside because his children is not there. When we get there and we start praying and we get our minds right, we say, yo, Father, yo, come down, talk to us. We need you. He's going to hear you. He's not hearing you in jail. He's like, all right, look, man, 2020, it's time for y'all to figure how to make it back home. Dudes wanted to buy cards. Wanted to take more money, put themselves in serious debt. All of that was intentional. Yeah, let them get this money. Let them get there because they're going to stay stuck here. You don't even understand what's going on in this world because you don't read. You don't seek. You want to be violent. You want to imitate. You want to you 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 want to proclaim and show these individuals. You is just a you you are a bigger killer than the Ku Klux Klan. You are a bigger killer than Christopher Columbus. You are a bigger killer than any of these heathens that violated your your ancestors, you want to be that, then stand where you're supposed to stand. You can't stand where, you can't stand here when you're taking down the very same people they love, they hunt, they, they, they woke up to and drunk beer and drunk blood and couldn't wait to do it again. You want to be, you want to be and impress that. Come on, fam. You don't even understand. This is crazy. Get your balance back, man. Word. Get your balance back. But yeah, it's your brother, man, from the motherland. I came to you guys live, live from the NY, and um, continue supporting. Share this, like I said before. Give it where it needs to be for the real ones. It's time for the hood to get into the kingdom. It's, it, the time is now. The doors is open. Won't run through it. Don't become useless. Don't become a bum. Don't become an enemy. Don't become a narrative. Don't become a statistic, fam. Stand your ground and hold it down where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be with your people. They should not be. They you no more talking. No more wishing bad on each other because they're out to get you. Rico conspiracy, everything. Keep your conversation short. Keep your texts short. Stop arguing with your sisters. Stop arguing with your women. Stop. Just stop. Let's correct things. Let's get things in the and it's restore order, so we can take order, and go back home and stand up on a holy mountain and say, Father, we here. We did. We came and we did what we said we was gonna do. Now what's up, pops? Come save us. 
And this is when the destruction and everything is going to break loose and we're going to be set free and it's going to be like the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun, man. You want the real? Come holla at your boy, man. Let's learn together. Put your information down. Understand one thing, that you are the children of Abram, Azaka, and Akobi, bro. Firstborn. The word. Exodus 4, what, 26, 27? Don't, 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 don't get caught up with the with the name chain. You could go into the strongs and look under. It's gonna say Akobi. They put the Ja, the J there. Just like they put the H in other areas so they could throw things off. So they could, so a book, the book can seem like it's there. Like that's their history. And they're gonna tell you that, yeah, yeah, we stole that history. No. No. These brothers is 10 steps ahead. 400 year head start. Hello. You got to make it make sense. Understand what time we in, man. But again, <laughs> I digress. It's your brother, man, from the motherland. Came to you guys live. For those that don't know who I am, I am Mr. Keep My Foot on you heathens, you heagos. And the newly installed he the nice snacks. Are you dumb or are you dumb? Father, say one time for the one time. Are you dumb? <laughs> and I'm going to holler at y'all.